And so, hi class. Magandang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. So, we will go tayo with our last okay, session ng ating uh, uh, topic natin sa DCS. So, basic learning skills. So, ang topic natin ngayon is it's quite medyo, I mean, tatlo. Tatlo yung discuss natin for today is uh, prepare poultry, uh, fish, and then dessert. And then, uh, papapawin natin yung task na mga gagawin ninyo to comply this uh ano natin finals natin okay so uh so we start so <clears throat> share ko lang yung screen and uh here okay so we will go tayo with uh part two ng ating uh, kukiri natin so fall three so here is uh, the principles and practices of sanitary, specifically uh, specifically cross contamination. So this is not new to you, class. Because uh, ang topic natin sanitation, cross contamination is already been tackled in our first uh, session pa natin yun. And of course, you had your own subject na food safety and sanitation, right? So you already know how to, I mean, what the difference, what is the meaning of cross contaminations, what is contaminations, how the contamination occurs. Mga ganyan. So, hindi na natin siya padadaan. Hindi na natin siya bibigyan pansin dito. But uh, the point is, uh, in every uh, type ng uh, process natin ng pagkain, always think about the different sources of bacteria that can contribute or to spoil our food. So, uh, maging aware tayo doon. So, we have the air, we have the water, moisture, the soil, the dirty surroundings. Okay, the different tools and equipments we'll be using uh, in our preparation. So, isipin natin yan to prevent the contamination of our food. Okay, so also we discuss, I mean, we have also the chemi different chemicals that could uh, manifest dun sa pag-contaminate din ng ating pagkain. Okay, so now we go tayo with, uh, with uh, poultry, kasi poultry naman talaga yung ating topic ngayon. Okay, so yan, of course, part din ng contamination, ng temperature, yung time, napakaan yan, important, importante yan. Lalo pag yung pagkain nasa room temperature, and then that's the, the convert zone of the bacteria, it can easily multiply in the uh, room temperature. So, uh, iwasan natin yung ganyan. Then, of course, yung uh, the, the time. Diba, pag matagal na naka-expose ang isang pagkain sa humid temperature, Diba na papansin niyo nag nagiging smelly yung mga pagkain niyo, diba? Kasi nga, na yung yung bacteria nag-grow. Okay, so next we go uh, the topic natin is the quality criteria for poultry and game. Okay, selecting or purchasing your poultry or game in the Philippines has increased in remarkably in last decade. Tibig sabi nagkaroon na tayo ng mga different uh, standardizations how to select our uh, uh, different kind of poultry or game that can be uh, available to purchase in the market. So, classifications of poultry and games natin. Okay, so we have domestic birds. Okay, and uh, ano yung mga domestic birds natin? Like a chicken, fowl, turkey, duck, goose, and uh, the other, uh, other uh, birds that can be uh, eaten by human. Uh, siyempre sa atin, sa Pilipinas, we have the example natin yung quail, yung partridge, wild duck, clover, deer. Those are example na pwede natin i-consume. Okay, so we have the example natin ng poultry, ng chicken. Ang um, uses na is meats and eggs. Okay, pwede natin i-consume yun. Sa duck naman, pwede natin i-consume yung kanyang meat and of course yung kanyang eggs. Okay, sa turkey naman, ang ang kukonsume natin sa turkey is the meat. Sa mga goose is meat and eggs. Sa quail, meat and eggs. Sa pigeon, meat. Sa guinea fowl is meat. Sa wild duck is meat. Okay, and the pheasant is also a meat. Okay, yung pwede nating uh, i-consume doon. Another one natin is, uh, we go tayo with the classification of uh, type of poultry na kinukonsume natin. Depends on the, the ano to to? Yung kung paano siya, ah, uh, ah, uh, Hindi, hindi, paano siya tina... Hindi siya, hindi eh. Paano siya... Uh, yung bang... Kailan siya pwede i-consume? Parang ganun. So, ano yung mga kategory niya? Okay, number one natin is we have the broiler or the fryer. These are example natin, ang best example ng broiler or fryer type of chicken. These are the 40 days. 
Okay, kaya as you can see in the description, a broiler or fryer is, a fryer is a young chicken, usually 9 to 12 weeks of age, or either sex or uh, either of either uh, any sex ng, ano, ng chicken naman. And uh, their meat is tender, soft and pliable and smooth and texture skin. Ito yun, ito yun, ito yun yung type of chicken na nabibili natin sa market, okay? Na binibili natin uh, for frying, okay? Yung mga for, for easily consume. Even sa mga fast food or mga mga restaurants natin, itong broiler or fryer type of chicken, sila yung uh, commonly used, okay, na binibili or pinapurchase ng mga ano, ng mga ng mga ano natin, ng mga businesses para makain ng tao kasi this is the most tender uh, ano to eh, uh, type of chicken na, na I mean, tender, malambot, yung mga, parang hindi hindi ka hassle, hindi siya hassle kainin. Okay? So <clears throat> Ayan, yung mga example din sa baliwag, sa adox, ayan, yung mga broiler or fryer type of chicken, yun yung kanilang uh, bibili or for no chase at binibenta sa atin. And it's usually took for about 9 to 12 weeks, okay, in the range nila or sa cage nila, okay? So, another na, another type of chicken natin na, na, na kapag older na siya, okay, older, yung, uh, older na yung kanyang meat, so nandun na papasok yung tatawag natin roaster. The okay, roaster is usually five to six months of age. Okay, and then uh, their meat, ito yung usually nakikita naman natin sa free, free farm, yung free range, mga chicken, free range chicken. Okay, yung hinahaya lang natin sila nasa paligid ng, ano, ng farm natin. So ang, ang sample nun, ito yung natawag natin mga native type of chicken. Yan, yung mga roaster na yan. Okay, and it, it is range for about five to six months before pwede siyang i-consume. Okay, and uh, their meat is quite uh, tough. So, hindi siya, hindi siya ganun katender. At the same time, yung kanyang bones is, hindi siya ganun ka, ano, uh, ka firm compared dun sa mga uh, range chicken natin na broiler or fryer. Is, siguro naman, nakatingin naman na kayo ng native chicken, diba? At you will know the difference between the, the fryer or broiler or yung mga tender cuts chicken natin compared dun sa mga native chicken natin. And it took for about, ano, you know, medyo matagal-tagal siya bago lutuin, diba? And then we can we have also a capon A. Okay, capon A is a surgical des uh, desert male chicken based on the description. Uh, but in to 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 discuss this is these are type of chicken that are injected by chemicals. Okay, so that their their flesh or their uh uh what you call this uh a uh, meat okay will uh I mean will become tender or it could be fear, much more firm yung gina, yung ano yung kanilang flesh so ito yung usually ginagamit na ito yung uh atog nito nasa free nasa free farm farm siya nasa farm siya kaya lang they they they, they give away with a different type of medicine okay para maging stronger yung kanilang uh uh, uh life nila and the same time these are also uh uh a type of chicken na ginagamit nila panlahi. Okay, ito yung uh, nandun lang siya tapos siya yung uh, ano dun sa mga chicken para magkaroon ng another eggs. Okay, kasi iba yung egg na binibili natin sa market kasi those are uh, those are came from ano uh, chicken na nangingitlog na kahit walang walang partner na chicken na rooster, nagilay sila ng eggs. Pero at the end hindi naman bubuo yung itlog na yun kasi wala namang ano wala namang uh, intersection ng, ng, ng chicken. Yun yung itlog na ginagamit natin. I mean, uh, itlog na binibili, pinapurchase natin sa, sa market. Okay, so, and uh, sabi nila, wala namang, wala namang chemical. No, meron, meron din kasi yung mga chicken na umaano <laughs> yung mga Yun yung mga kinakain nila, ayan, doon kasi nagkakaroon ng mga different types of chemicals sa kinukusom na. That's why medyo, ano yun, uh, Hindi naman sinasabi natin contaminated by the chemical, but, it, you know, para mapabilis mo yung paglay ng eggs nila. So, you need, you need scientific tools or process para magawa yung mga ganun bagay. Well, it's, you know, it's the industry. <laughs> At ay magagawa dyan. Ganun yung, ganun yung ginawa ng mga, ano, ng mga manufacturer, producer ng kanilang ng eggs and chickens. At ay magagawa doon. Well, kaya eh, di ba masarap kumain ng mga native na itlog? Aminin niya yan, di ba? Yung pag yung, 
pagkatapos lang mag, mag-lay ng eggs doon, gusto mo nang prituhin yung ito. Di ba? Ang sarap. Okay, next we go tayo with the stag. Ito naman yung mga ano, yung mga chicken naman na malalaki. Okay, yung uh, nandun lang siya. Baka wala lang siya dun sa farm. Tapos, mas hindi malalaki yung mga bantam pa, yung chicken na yon. It's, it's the ano, it's the province, a province uh, terminology for those chickens that are bigger. Okay, from the regular size of chicken. And yung mga stag naman natin. At the same time, sabi dito, usually under 10 months of age with the coarse skin with the somewhat toughened and darkened flesh. Okay, so another natin is yung hen or stewing chicken. Ito naman yung mga inahen. Ito naman yung nag-lay ng eggs. Okay, so they are not a function for, uh, I mean, for cooking talaga na ginagamit. Kasi nga, it, ang kanilang flesh is medyo matap. Kaya siya tinatawag na stewing chicken is yes, siya for stewing process. So pag sinabi natin stewing process, ito yung mga slow cook. Okay, methods of cooking na ginagamit natin. Process. Okay, so ito mga hen na to, so sila yung nag-delay ng mga eggs naman. Na from dun sa uh, sa mga chicken na kagaya na from the stag or from pap- uh, papon A. Okay, or A. So sila yan. Sila yung nag-delay ng eggs na yan. So it can also be called layer. Okay. Pero pwede pa rin naman siya i-consume. Mga ito mga native dish chicken na to. Okay, another natin is the cock or rooster. Okay, it's a matured milk chicken with coarse skin top. Ito naman yung pinapanabong, di ba? Mga panabong na manok. Sino ba dito nakakain dito ng mga panabong na manok? Ako once na try ko pero hindi ko na inulit. <laughs> hindi ko trip kasi ang tigas kasi ng flesh. Mas matigas siya sa, ano, sa beef eh. Alam mo yun, yung mga ganun. Tapos wala ka naman di makakain kasi matitinik yung, matitinik yung kanyang mga bones. Diba? So those are ano, uh, pampered with chemicals injections ng mga type of uh, chicken naman natin. But still, it's for consumption pa rin. Pwede rin naman kasi it's type of poultry pa rin naman siya. But hindi siya, ano, hindi siya, hindi siya suggested for consumers or for market. Hindi siya marketable. Uh, oh, kasi ang purpose naman talaga ng mga rooster naman natin dito is for fighting skills naman nila yon And it goes with the sabong, di ba? Yung kanilang cockpit na ano na business. So yun naman talaga yung purpose na ba dito naman. Kasi matatapang itong mga, ano, to, mga manok na to. Okay? Next natin is we have ito yung mga jumbo broiler. Yung mga lalaking manok. Okay? Yung mga extra large chicken. Okay? Uh, about 4 kilograms in one uh, in one weight or weighing scale. It just weight which one on sales, especially during Christmas and holidays. Ayan. So, yun mga malalaking type of chicken natin. Another poultry pa natin na binibenta sa market is we have the Peking duck. Okay, the Peking duck is a breed of duck that's originated from China. It is one noted it's tender on the flavor meat. So, Ito yung ginagamit na, ito yung naman yung sa mga, mga duck. Ito yung kung makakadaan kayo sa mga Chinese restaurant. Ito yung mga nakasabit doon sa kanilang, uh, uh, to call this, yung steaming pot nila. Ayan, ito yung sa mga pek, itong peking duck ito. And masarap to guys ha, masarap. Ayan, kaya lang hindi ako masyadong kumakain ito kasi, ano eh, slimy, just quite slimy kasi yung, ano, yung, yung flesh or depende na siguro sa pagkakaluto kasi alam naman, Yung always kami, yun nandun kami sa Singapore kasi lagi kami kumakain ng Peking Duck kasi ito yung uh, one of uh, parang delicacies kasi nila yun. Ayan, na laging sinaserve sa amin. Okay? Then alam mo yun, yung pag sinerve sa amin may kasabay na serving din sa kanilang ano, kanilang uh, Buddha. Hindi ko alam kung kung para sa amin ba talaga yun o para dun sa sa Buddha na ano. Basta kung ano yung pagkain na nandun, na, yung kinakain namin, meron lagi dun sa kanilang God. Okay, kay ano, kay Buda. Meron ganun. Ganun yun na encounter namin na Singapore. Wala, naalala ko lang. Okay, pero masarap to. Okay, masarap to. And of course, the duck or the itik. Ayan, lalo yung mga kumakain dito ng mga kalderetang itik, masarap magluto. Oh my God. Okay, ang sarap nito. Ayan, so it's uh, available upon popular in many towns of Rizal as a fried itik. Okay, next we have also the squab. Okay, the squab is a young immature pigeon, either sex or has extra tender meat. Okay, so ito yung squab. 
Okay, another natin is, oh, ayan. So, yun yung mga type ng mga poultry natin. Next, we will go tayo with the selecting of good quality poultry and gain. Lean poultry, uh, ito yung mga buhay ng mga manok na binibili natin. So, the eyes is, are clear. The young chicken is fine and soft feet. Ayan, titingnan yung mga paa niya. And the bone uh, and the tip of the breast is soft and younger. Ito yung na, pag hinahawakan mo yung breast ng ano, mga chicken is tender. So, ibig sabihin na, uh, okay, oh, malambot or tender pa yung, uh, yung matender ito pag once na niluto itong type ng mga chicken na ito. And meron silang maliit na feathers. Ito yun. So, you can see in the picture. Another natin is the whole poultry. The whole poultry, these are slaughtered birds that have been bleed and de de feathered. De feathered. Ito yung tinanggalan nyo. Yung tinatawag natin undressed, okay, undressed uh, type of chicken. Okay, so their head and feet are viscera uh, and vis viscera are still intact. Ibig sabihin yung mga laman loob is intact pa rin naman. Okay, and they are clean, well flesh and moderate. And yun, nabibili naman ito sa market na may ganito. Basta tanggal lang, tinanggal lang yung kanyang balibo at yung kanyang blood. Pero yung mga laman loob nandiyan pa rin sa loob. Then pag sinabi natin dress poultry, it is automatically the, viscera, the, vis the visceral organs are being removed. Ito yung nabibili natin sa palengke. Okay, kapag sinabi na sa inyo, you can buy a dressed chicken, and then automatically, you will buy a whole chicken without the visceral organs. Ayan, yun, kung nakikita niyo sa picture, so that's the dressed chicken, a dressed poultry chicken. Okay, nakukuha. So, yun yun. So, yun yun yung commonly na binigyan natin sa market. Then we have also the ready-to-cook, okay, uh, parts of the chicken. Ito yung nabibili natin sa mga uh, dry mark, dry... <laughs> Sa mga dry market, sa mga supermarket, diba? makikita nyo na to. Ayan. Pero sa paligid, nakikita nyo na naman to. Okay. Mga nakaportion na ng mga chicken wings, chicken breast, Thai part. Yung iba doon, naka, ano na, naka lollipop style na. Diba? Ng mga chicken. So, nandun na yan. So, available na siya sa market. Hindi na kayo mahihirapan. Pero during your training, kasi kung meron tayong face-to-face, -face, ano, kasama yun sa pag Kasama sa task natin yung pag Himayin itong mga chicken ito. As you can see the picture, no? Ginagawa namin yan. Ginagawa natin yan during the training. Okay, but still, we, we don't have uh, time to do that. So, hopefully, someday, okay, before kayo mag-assessment ng hukiri, magkaroon kayo ng chance or ng opportunity to use our kitchen, okay, laboratory, and to perform this kind of things or techniques or skills. Hopefully, okay, uh, when uh, when the government allows us to have a face-to-face, -face, then that will be better. At least, magagawa niyo yung ganitong portion. Ayan, so yung mga available na parts ng chicken natin. Okay, so nutritive value. Okay, so source of protein. Okay, so we go tayo with um, ano to, properties of chicken breast. Properties of chicken breast. Ayan, so basahin natin. In a, in a chicken meat, the nutritional properties of the breast are among the most valued, okay, parts of the chicken. It is one of the leanest areas. Sabing leanest. Oh, sige, pag sinabing leanest, wala masyadong fats or walang fats. Okay, it, it provides a low fat concentration approximately from 2% of its composition of its fat. Okay, saan yung may pinakamatamang pat ng, ano, ng chicken? Tingin nyo nasaan? Nasa Thai part. Yan yung, yan yung uh, ma, 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 fat, ma fat na part ng chicken. Yan Thai part. Especially yung malapit na dun sa ano, sa pimpi ng chicken. Pimpi is ano, the part ng chicken. Yan, yan yung, yan yung pinakamatabang part ng ano, ng chicken. Pero yung ginagamit na chicken skin, okay, ano yun, yung mga chicken skin, ang gagaling naman yung dito sa, sa neck, sa breast, sa big ng ano, sa big ng chicken, from from the neck, going to the breast, so doon kinukuha naman yung chicken skin. Okay? So yun yun. Pero kung sa saleable market natin, ang pinaka-fatty type of chicken na natin is nasa, nasa pet, nasa pinti, nasa Thai part, kumbaga. So, sa, sa breast, yun, so lean, lean, ano yan, wala yung lean, wala siya masyadong fats. Especially kapag yun sa inner inner chicken breast ka pa. Ito yung tinatawag nilang premium, uh, premium part. Kumbaga parang pinaka-tenderloin ng chicken. 
Okay, kasi ba diba pag na, kung if, if you notice when you performing a chicken fillet or chicken breast, merong dong pinaka top part ng meat or pinaka inner part ng meat na may maliit siya na parang patriangle side. So that is the the tender. So yun din yung pinaka nutritious na ano na na part ng chicken na uh, chicken breast. At the same time, yun yung ginagamit talaga for chicken fingers. Okay, yung mga chicken tenders na tinatawag nila. Kaya mahal yung mga chicken tenders sa chicken uh, fingers kapag once ang bumibili kayo sa mga restaurants. Kasi yun yung pinaka-selection ng breast of meat na ginagamit nila for that. And that's only two. Dalawang, 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 uh, dalaw, tama, dalawa lang ang bilang yan sa bawat chicken. Kaya that's why they call it expensive type of fingers. Okay, alam siyang iba, yung iba, ginagawa ng ibang restaurant, ginagamit yung boom chicken breast as part of the chicken fingers. But when you go to the fine dining restaurant, pag sa amin chicken fingers, pack, ano, ano yan, yung pinaka-inner part na yan ng chicken. At dalawa lang yan sa bawat isang manok. So kaya mahal siya. Okay, so next we go tayo with the common cooking terms related to the poultry and games used in the industry. Okay, so preparations of poultry for cooking. So we have the slaughtered, bleeding, scalding, defeathering, evisceration, and deboning. Pag sinabi natin slaughter or bleeding, ito yung tinatanggal, na, tinatanggal natin yung blood okay, ng manok. Pag sinabi natin scalding, okay, ito yung... Uh, ano yun? Uh, nilulubog natin yung chicken sa mainit na, na tubig. Okay, that's a scalding. And then pag, pag after natin mailubog sa yung chicken sa sa ano, sa ano mainit na tubig, ito kasi yung para ma- ma- lumambot yung kanyang flesh para ma-defeather mo siya. Ibig sabihin, matanggal mo yung kanyang balahibo. Okay, after matanggal mo yung kanyang balahibo, Okay, bubuksan mo na ngayon yung kanyang, uh, uh, yung, yung sa may kwitan side. Okay, to remove the inner organs, which is the evisceration. Okay, yun yung tawag yung, yung term na yun. Then after that, if you want to, if you want to portion the, the, the chicken, okay, dun ka na magpo-proceed ngayon sa deboning. Okay, and some of the, yung iba, ginagamit nila is talagang totally they are removing the bones of the chicken kahit na buo pa yung chicken kaya yan eh, na, natatanggal yung mismong buo, yung buto ng mano kahit buo pa yung chicken. So it really uh, need a high skilled uh, butcher uh, personnel to do that. Okay? Kasi especially yung mga joints and ligaments of the chicken are in are connected to each other. Eh, pag may mga ganun kailangan talaga ng magaang na kamay at the same time uh, ano, right as uh, ito, knife skill para magawa yung mga deboning na yan. Pero sa deboning, uh, portioning of chicken could be now the last por- the last uh, option or last part of preparations of quality for cooking. Tingin ako ha. Okay, so hindi, hindi ko naman kayo pagagawan ko pa paano kumatay ng manok. Hindi naman na tayo, hindi na naman tayo kailangan ng ganun. Kasi nga, uh, hindi naman natin kailangan yung ganun. Hindi naman siya kasama sa kukiri natin. Okay, pero nung high school, no, ginagawa yan uh, during your uh, junior high. Yeah, I, ha- I had a la- I, ha- I got in one competition nung uh, alim- yeah, junior high competition. Nalaw pa ako, nagpapatay ng manok dun sa ano, sa mismong preparation table nila. So, nag-judge kasi ako nun sa Pasig. And then, sabi ko, hala, ba't may nagpatay ng manok? Hindi ko pwede patay na yung manok dun nila dito. Wala lang, gusto lang talaga nilang ipakita kung papaano ay ano i prepare yung ano yung chicken from from you know from buhay na manok and it's a good a good points to them kasi uh, makita mo talaga yung preparation but but still yung preparation kasi ng ano ng pagkakatay ng manok nakadepende kasi yan sa location mo syempre when you are practicing the safety and sanitation of the poultry hindi ka pwedeng magkatay po saan-saan di ba kasi you have a lot of factor na pwedeng maging safe <laughs> para ano para para ma- maging safe pa rin yung chicken na preparation mo. Hindi eh, ba? Mga ganung bagay. So doon sila nadali sa points on safety and sanitation pero in terms of preparation they got the higher score but the safety and sanitation doon sila bumaksa kasi it's not appropriate talaga to do that. Kaya nga meron tayong slaughter area of the chicken eh kasi doon sa slaughter slaughter area natin kasi yun sila yung mayroong kakayahan 
para maging safe and uh, safe yung mga chicken na lalabas doon sa from the market or sa mga slaughter uh, natin, factory natin. Kasi they have the standard. Okay? Kaya hindi rin tayo basta-basta pwede magtatay kung saan-saan kung ano yung gusto natin katayin. Eh, go lang ng go. Di ba? Hindi, hindi ganun. Kasi marami ka rin dapat i-consider sa especially the environment, mga ganyan. Yung mga taong natatakot or trauma, natatrauma sa mga ganyan. Kaya, kagaya ko, trauma, trauma ko yung ganyan. Yung ayoko nakakilig na may kinakati na baboy, ng mga ganyan, ng kambing. May ganun, may mga ganun, may mga ganun klaseng tao kagaya ko naman. Natakot, parang ganyan. So, ako, trauma ako. Hindi ko kakainin yung ganyan, may ganun kasi ako gali. Pag nakita kong kinata yung baboy o yung kambing, hindi ko kakainin yung laman kasi it's part of trauma. Pero it's, no, it, depende naman sa mga tao. I'm not saying all of the people is like me, di ba? Mga ganun. <laughs> Ni lang naman. Anyway, so let's move forward. So we go to our market forms and of poultry. Okay, so live poultry tayo. Okay, live poultry should be healthy, alert, and well-feathered. Pag sabi well-feathered, dapat, dapat kompleto yung mga balahibo. Hindi ba kompleto? Yung parang maayos yung balahibo, walang, walang skin disease kung makikita, mga ganyan. Avoid poultry which are bruised and blisters and broken bones. And kasi bakit? Kapag may broken bones, kasi meron niya, ano yan, may problema yan with the blood. Okay? So, syempre, pag may broken, kaya yun, ano, bali, may mga blood clot yan. And that blood clot could be a cause of cancer. And that uh, cancer could be transferred to us. Ano gailan? Kasi it's part, maging contaminated yung ano. Okay? <clears throat> kapag bibili ka ng mga buhay na manok. Pero pag full poultry naman, ayan, to, uh, Though not alive, the criteria for selecting the life or to also apply to the whole poultry, oh, di ba? Uh, kapag bibili kayo ng mga whole chicken, kahit hindi naman siyang buhay, pero kailangan uh, alert pa rin kayo doon, healthy, and of course, dapat walang bruise. Okay? Bruise and blisters and broken bones. Pag sabi yung blisters, ito yung mga ano eh. I don't know if you already uh, saw this type of blisters in the chicken when the chicken is too much exposed in the room temperature so market ito yung mapapansin nyo parang may mga puti-puting white spots dun sa paligid ng chicken tapos parang siyang slimy yung ano yung underneath ng chicken skin yan kapag once na ganun yung medyo slimy siya tapos may mga white spots na sa paligid ng chicken ano yun it's automatic ano yun uh, matagal-tagal na siyang naka-expose with the room temperature or some market natin. And it could be, pre, I mean, the bakiya could be, ano na yun, nag-grow na talaga doon. So, pag makabili ka ng ganong chicken, ang only, ang pwede mong talagang gawin is, hugasan siya, then after hugasan, lutuin mo in right temperature. Actually, nilagta mo ng mga pagkain, dapat, you, ano, lutuin natin sa right temperature. Okay? Kasi kapag under temperature yan, magiging andan yan. I mean, not well done yan. Diba? Parang yan. Next is, uh, Dress poultry, yeah. This is the most available poultry from uh, in the uh, form in the market. Dress poultry are actually slaughtered poultry with the head, feet, blood, feathers, and internal organs been removed. Okay, been removed. Okay, so good quality of dress poultry should be free from slime. Eh, binabanggit ko sa inyo kanina. Okay, yung mga slime na madudulas na parts sa chicken. Okay, kasi pag may madudulas na yan, ato ma- ano yan eh, may, may bakilya na siyang nag-grow within the chicken. So, iwasan natin yung pagbibili ng mga ganong uh, manok natin. So, of others and discoloration. Okay, yung mga mababa- yung amoy malansa na siya, mga ganyan. And yung pagkaba- kapagkabago ng kulay. Diba kapag bumili ka ng dressed chicken, is talagang pinkish white yung, ano, yung chicken. Pero pag once na parang medyo brown, yellow, parang yellowish brown na siya. So, discoloration, kasi it's been exposed with the air. So, the moisture are, uh, alam mo yun, natanggal na, remove na sa skin. So, maybe coated na siya ng mga bacteria. So, yun yung iwasan na. Drone poultry, ayan. Drone poultry are dressed poultry that have been chilled or frozen. They are usually available in the groceries. Bounty. Okay, yung bounty is a kind of drone poultry. Ito yung naka-vacuum sealed poultry. Okay, na mga dressed chicken. Okay, kasi yung dressed chicken kasi natin, these are the fresh ones na nabibili natin sa mga palengke. Pero for those who are uh, favored naman sa mga gumagamit, I mean, namimili sa mga groceries, yung mga nakikita nyo doon mga manok doon like magnolia or bounty, bounty 
mga drone poultry na yan. Ito yung mga naka-vacuum sealed uh, poultry na, ayan, yung nakikita niyo sa picture. Those are poultry that are being chilled or being frozen. Okay, so from the slaughtered uh, slaughtered factory, chinilled na nila yan, inis nila, tapos nirose nila, tapos niransfer nila sa mga groceries. So it's okay lang naman yung mga ganyan. Type of chicken. Okay, so, tapos may yan, yan, merong, may limit din yan, may expiration din. Sa pure gold, di ba madalas tong drown chicken na ito, may buy one, take one pa nga kayo na bibili sa pure gold eh. Di ba, yung 149, tapos dalawang maliit na manok, Next natin is ready to cook poultry. These are poultry parts such as wings, breast, thighs, and drumsticks which have been separately packed in single container or frozen or chilled. Okay, so yan na yan. So yan na nakikita ninyo. Ayan! So different cuts of poultry. Wool chicken, halves, yung sabihin, uh, hinate, sa gitna yung chicken. Okay, the breast quarters. Ayan, so... Kasama yung, ano, kasama yung flesh sa breast, kasama yung wings. That's the breast quarters. The split breast, okay, wala yung chicken wings. Wala yung wings. The split breast without back, okay? So, wala yung kanyang, uh, ito, ito, ito yung spinal cord. Wala, yung, uh, wala yun. Then, boneless, uh, skinless, ba naman yan? boneless and skin, boneless na skinless pa. Torture, di ba? De, ano yan? For chicken play. Ito yung ginagamit natin for cordon blue. Okay, the mole is skinless breast. The eight pieces cut. Ayan, ito, ito pinapractice namin to pag nag-face to face kami. Okay, under ng aking mga nag-cookery, na-practice na to. Talagang nag nangyayari talaga dito, nagbibit na bibit bit sa tigitigis ang manok kasi sila mag-proportion sa akin sa, sa, ano, sa activity nila. Or kaya magiging uh, dalawa, isang manok, makakati sila doon, kailangan ma-portion nila into eight, yung, uh, yung buong manok. Mga ah, ganun. So, mag-assess yun, yun face-to-face namin. Pero, sa gana naman sila sa pagkain. Okay, the whole chicken wing, and and with the drumlet. Drumlet, ito yung ginagamit, ito yung ano, ito yung ginagamit for lollipop, chicken lollipop. Actually, pinang ginagamit talaga sa chicken lollipop, it's the wings, not the drumstick. Okay, the chicken wings. Kasi masyadong mahaba yung bones ng drumstick. Hindi siya pa, hindi siya ano, hindi siya suitable for lollipops. Ang pwede yung sa, sa tabang sa lollipops, yung chicken wings talaga. Ayan. So, dal- sa bawat isang wing na ano, na ginag-isang sa chicken, dalawa yan. Dalawa lagi yan. Okay. So, ma- wing ma- midsection tip and wing midsection. Ayan. So, yan yung uh, mabibili. Whole chicken leg and boneless chicken leg. O, di ba? A thigh part and the boneless chicken thigh. The drumsticks. Okay, and the giblets. Giblets are includes the heart, liver, gizzard, and neck. That will be the end of our poultry discussion. So now we will go tayo sa ating... Uh, ayan, so ano naman ako binigay yung activity? Ayan, so CO1, CO1, performance test. Ayan. So self-check natin 10.1. So naka-open siya until May 25. Self-check point, the self-check 10.2 open till 10 uh till May 25 and self check 10.4 until sa ano until 10.05. So hindi pa ako nagbigay ng task sheet natin. Sige, magbibigay ako ng task sheet natin. Kasi iniisip ko kasi it's two months ano na eh, may, meron pa meron akong inopen sa ano sa fish part natin na magagawa kayo doon ng deep fry tilapia. Okay? So Meron din sa Dropbox yun. Nilagay ko yun doon. So, maghahanap ako ng tas natin for the chicken kung kakayanin ninyo pa. Huwag yan. Huwag tayo mag-chicken relleno. <laughs> Buong manok yan. Kawawa kayo dyan. Huwag na. Okay na tayo doon kasi mahilig naman kayo mag O kaya pwede na kayo gumawa ng mga chicken wings product. Chicken chicken wings product. Next, we go tayo with the final week. Week 1. Okay, for our seafood. Ayan, sa seafood na tayo. Isa sa pinakamagastos to kasi lalo pag-ipon, pusit, yung isda na gagamitin natin. Buti nga, wala pa kayo face to face. Hindi, yari talaga kayo sa gastos ng menu. Ayan, so we have here the fish. Ayan, so ito galing to sa akin. Alatang galing sa akin kasi ako yung nag- nagbuo nito. Okay. 
So we go now with the classification of varieties of fish and shellfish. Okay, varieties of and characteristic of fish. So we have number one, we have the salt water fish. Okay, salt water fish, these are fish found in the salt water, <laughs> which are in the oceans and in the seas. Okay, so ang hindi mga salt water fish, ito naman ako kung natin sa mga sapa or sa mga lake, kagaya ng Laguna Lake, di ba? So that, those are non-salted water fish. Okay, so flatfish, these are all popular in commercial kitchen. Flatfish have lean. Okay, ibig sabihin may fats siya, kagaya ng pangus. Ganyan. White flesh, uh, white flesh and mild, uh, delicate pale flavor. Okay, talagang malasama mo talaga yung dagat sa kanilang mga fish na yun. And they are very flat, oval shape, and both eyes are one-sided of the head. Okay, so those, oh, those are salt bite fish. Again, so we have here the Dover sole, okay, uh, Pacific Dover sole, mga gray sole, lemon sole, and mga sole sole na yan. Ayan. So as you can see, yan, yung mga sole, Dover sole, halibut, ayan, turbot, mga salt water like Arctic uh, char, black sea sea bass, ito yung sa pinakamasarap kong sda, sea bass. Uh, it is a uh, high-end tilapia. Yeah, high-end tilapia because di ba ang tilapia natin less lang yung kanyang tinet mo. Ganun din ang ano ang uh, si Bas. Mas less na less pa siya ang tinik. And so, so yung tinik lang talaga niya yung mismong bone niya sa gitna. Then the rest wala ka ng tinik. And you can eat uh, talagang uh, ano dito, uh, alam mo yung malambot na klase ng tilapia. Ganun yung lasa nitong si Bas. Ayan, so ayan, yung mga codfish, is smaller, the grouper. And so grouper ito madalas sa saan, sa mga Chinese restaurant. Ito yung mga deep fry nila ng buo, buong isda. Yung nakikita nyo may may buka-buka, ano pa, uh, buhay pa, tapos nila deep fry. Ito yun eh, yung grouper. Ayan, herring. Okay, so jack, jackfish. We have the dory, the mackerel, mahi-mahi. Monkfish, ocean perch. And so you can see, you can you can notes naman to your notes nito. Magand, marami akong binigay dito ng mga fish and you will enjoy the different categories and the different uh, uh, characteristics of this. And uh, you will be informed, talaga. Very informative yung nagawa ko dito ng ano. Uh, ito, notes para sa inyo. Okay, so yan yung mga types of fish naman na. So, English po ng tilapia yung St. Peter's fish, ha? Okay, so bakit po ganun ang English ng tilapia? Kasi, ano, ang history kasi ng St. Peter's, ang, ang tilapia kasi is nabubuhay siya with the, uh, ano, uh, lawa, mga ganyan. So, kasi in the history kasi, in the, in the, in Jesus era nun, is, is iba naalala niya yung kwento na si Peter, is, uh, si Peter kasi is, uh, the, ano, malakaya ng isda. Ano tawag doon? The fisher's man. Fisherman. Fisherman si Peter. So, nung time na yon na nag, nag, uh, nag-ingisda siya, maghapon na siya nag-iisda, wala, walang ano, wala siya na huli. And then one time, Jesus uh, meet, I mean, Peter meet Jesus. Okay, and then in the the Sea of, sea of, sea of Jordan or Sea of Galilee yata yan. And then sabi niya, you, you, ano niya, uh, sabi ni Jesus is mag-ano ka ng ano, mag mangisda ka na. Sabi ni Peter is, sabi niya is, uh, I toiled uh, hard for day and night. But, sabi niya doon, pero dahil sa sinabi mo, susunod ako. Then sinabi niya na, dahil sinabi mo, susunod ako, nangisda siya. Then pagbalik niya, sobrang dami ng isda. With that breaking boat sinking bless, ah, uh, niyan, ah, uh, fish. Yung na-encounter ni Peter doon. Kaya that's why yung tilapia is nililate yung pangalan niya. Kay St. Peter. Kaya rin yung sorry ng St. Peter's Day. Yun yun. Anyway. So we got tayo with the selfish. Okay. Selfish are uh, are not specific type of fish. Okay. But they are rather categories to classify spinless, invertible, with a skeleton uh, that live in the water. These are sea creatures have been uh, harvested and consumed throughout the history for their delicious taste. Soft textures and strong flavors that are two main types of selfish. We have the crustaceans and the molluscans. Okay, so for example, in crustaceans, these are a fewer subspecies of crustaceans that are smallest 
Ito yung mga may crust. Okay, like lobster, shrimp, uh, crabs, eh, may mga ano, mga shell. Okay, na mga fish. Those are crustaceans. Sa mga locks can, ito naman yung mga uh, mga shellfish na wala na wala siyang ano, wala siyang hard shells like uh, squid, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, squid lang ata yung modulus na ano eh. Um uh, Yeah, squid. <laughs> squid naman yung may molox. Eh, meron pa eh, meron pa. Ano pa ba yung mga ano? Ayan, basta yun na yun. Isa, kasama yung sample na yun sa molox. Okay, lobster, the crab, ayan, the shrimp, the molox, ayan, snails, mga ganyan. Uh, squid, ayan, octopus. Okay, oysters, ayan, example yun ng mga molox cans. Clams. Di ba, ang dami ko pala hindi example. Hindi ko nasabi agad. Okay, so we go tayo with the different criteria for judging as a fresh seafood. Yun naman po nila sinaray. Wait lang ah. Okay, so buying seafood here are several things consumer to consider when forcing high quality of seafood. First, it's important to buy the seafood with reputable dealers. Yeah. Siyempre, doon kayo bibili sa mga talagang uh, legit na buyer ng mga isda. <laughs> kasi hindi, hindi po biro ang ano. Hindi biro ang presyo kasi ng mga seafood natin. Okay? Food allergens. Ayan, or allergies. Ayan. So, ayan, napakaano niya, napakataas ng mga food allergies natin sa mga pagdating sa mga seafood, di ba? Recreational fish, okay? These are unique foods that are large amount in harvested by individuals with own personal consumption. Okay, so... <clears throat> full fish, yeah. And we have the fish fillet, or steaks, or selfish. Okay, scallops, crabs and lobsters, raw shrimp, full squid. Okay, so mail order seafood, buying seafood, and commercially frozen value added seafood. I think mga value added seafood yung mga process na ila dito kung seafood na. Common criteria for choosing fish. The body first, uh, the body of the fish must be rigid or arched. The fish should be bright and metallic luster. The eyes should be bright, vivid, and brilliant. The gills should be bright, wet, Pink or red. Ito yung uh, asang. Okay. The smell should be pleasant and mal hindi yung maglansa. The scales should be shiny, not detach themselves. The abdomen, abdomen should be stretched and not uh, or have green spots. So being fresh pa yun. Okay. The skin should be shiny and slippery to touch. Okay. So those are the different categories of uh, how to buy fish, or common criteria for buying fish. Next style is uh, cooking fish. Ah! Luto tayo ng ano, ng isda. Pwede ba ang bagal ng ano natin, ng Nag-loading tayo. So, habang nag-loading yun, sige, mag-commercial mo na. Ay, hindi. Huwag na. Huwag na tayo mag-commercial. <laughs> Andito na eh. Okay. So, we go tayo with the fish. Fish, 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 fish. Ano meron sa fish? Cooking affects the content of food. Ayan. So, may mga ano siya. May mga nangyayari na effects sa pagluluto. Lalo kapag hindi tama yung pagluluto mo, lalo sa squid, no? Saglit lang po niluluto ang, ang pusit. Pag niluto mo yun ang umang-overcook yan, para, yung, para kang kumakain ng goma. Ayan. Iba ang daming information ko nila. Basahin nyo na lang yung iba dito, ha? Appropriate cooking methods for fish. 
Okay, so Danes and flaking. And when 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 fish is cooked, the flesh breaks apart into natural separation. This is called the flaking. Okay, kaya di ba minsan parang kiprito kayo ng isla, di ba dumidikit sa ano, sa kwali. Okay, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin eh, ibig sabihin nun, nag, nag-break yung kanyang flesh. Okay, or yung type of fish na yun is what you call flaking. Okay, the most book somehow the misleading the fish is done flake, is, when it flakes easily. Unfortunately, some cooks interpret that this thing is nearly falling apart. So, nangyari yun kapag underdone or overdone or overcooked. Yeah. So, and of course, ang nangyari din yun kapag hindi tama yung temperature. Di ba? Kailangan ano, for example, hindi pa may mantika, nila pinilagay mo yung isda, tapos tuloy-tuloy yung pagpiprito, ang tendency, dumikit na yung ano, yung skin niya dun sa mismong kuwale kasi nga hindi nga mainit yung ano, yung mismong kuwale. So, pag tinaginong binagdag mo, wala ka nang nabaliktad kasi lahat ng kalahating portion ng, ng fish dumikit na dun sa kuwale. So, problema yun, di ba? So, dapat try temperature din tayo. Dapat ano, smoke, nag-smoke dapat yung, di ba pag nag-iprito ko ng isda, no? Smoke mo yung, ano, yung matika. Sabihin may usok na siya. Then, kapag lapag mo ng isda, low. Ano, mahinaan mo na agad yung apoy. Kasi, kailangan magpastro na yung init niya doon sa inner part ng siya. Until maluto na siya. Ganun na yun. Ngayon, kapag babalik rin mo, ganun pa rin yung process. Uh, uh, lalakas ang may apoy, then after that, saka mo siya babalik ka rin. Okay, para hindi dumikit din yan. Pero mas maganda kung non- non-stick pan yung gamit niyo. Well, congratulations, say, not all non-stick pan is, I, I mean, not all people can, uh, can avail the non-stick pan, but it's advisable for you para ma-prevent mo yung uh, magandang, te- magandang texture ng fish natin. But, for those who are using the non-stick, uh, the stick, yung mga yung mga gumagamit na normal na kuwale. O maganda technique yung kapag na kumung na nakapag-prito ka ng isda na hindi dumidikit yung isda doon sa mismong kuwale. Well, you are good at that. If that's so. And especially kapag yung mga fish natin is may taba. Ayan. So, hindi pwede tayong mag-low, ano doon, mababa yung temperature. Kailangan mataas agad. Kasi kailangan yung kanyang ah, uh, yung skin ma-detach doon sa mismo flow niya. Ayan. So, next natin is uh, cooking lean fish. We have the cooking method like moisted methods and dry heat method. So, alam naman natin, pag sabi natin moisted method, we are using the moisture or the water to cook our food. Pag dry heat method naman, we, we are using dry heat or fats to cook our food. Okay, so especially kapag mga fat fish na ginagamit natin, so kailangan, like deep fry yung gagamitin natin procedure. Siguro baka nabuboring na kayo kasi wala tayong commercial. Huwag commercial lang muna tayo. back again with our topic. Okay, so we will go tayo with uh, the different cooking methods of or handling or cooking selfish or fish. Okay, because most of the fish or selfish have little connective tissue, the procedure for cooking them are somewhat different for those cooking methods of meat and poultry. Okay, when they cook meats, we often concern about tenderizing the product, but fish is, uh, is naturally tender. Okay, however, the cooking procedure, especially the overcooking, is more likely to be tough in the product or dry it out. 
sabihin kapag na-overcook natin yung fish, okay, doon nagiging mas matigas yung ating uh, fish natin and nawawala yung moisture ng isda or ng fish or saltfish natin, especially kapag na-overcook ang mga isda at mga ipon. Okay. Okay, next we go tayo with the baking procedure of fish. Okay, whole fish is a fish portion may be cooked by baking in oven. Okay, although large whole fish may be baked in the seasonally not practical volume of food service. The method is uh, uh, more often used in the steaks and fillet with a small fish. Okay, kapag nag-bake daw tayo ng ating isda, hindi daw advisable na i-bake natin yung buong isda. Okay, usually it will, we will have the fillet of fish or the steak of fish. That's yun yung pinaka-advisable in terms of baking fish. Next natin is moisting or baking braising fish. As you noted above, the fish is baked without moisture ingredients and, uh, with the liquid, strictly speaking, and the method is no longer dry heat method. All the preparations include the section in French cooking, taking is needed to put down with vegetables, the cold braising. To avoid confusion with braising method, apply the, uh, to meats. However, we, we avoid the terms of preparing such as dishes and bake. Okay, kapag sinabi natin ano, uh, braising naman. Okay, ang baking kasi is we are, we are using the oven, di ba? Oven to cook the, uh, the food. Okay, in terms of braising, okay, in terms of braising uh, uh, a method, it is uh, the fire is on, uh, nasa taas lang yung kanyang, uh, no, 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 no. So, braising method kasi is nag start tayo with, uh, the, 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 the moist method, then after moist method, we will go tayo with the dry heat method. So that's what's called braising. So ibig sabihin, uh, pwedeng mangyari dito sa ating braising of fish is nag-pansier muna tayo. Pag sinabi natin ng pansier tayo, isinil muna natin yung ating fish. Okay, with the high temperature surrounding, yung surrounding ng kanyang fish. Then after that, saka natin binake yung fish. So it could happen. It could happen in a full type of fish. Pwede yun kasi na ano mo naman na, na, na pansier mo naman na. Yun. Or the other one is pinakulaw natin yung isda, then after pinakulaw yung isda, ibibake mo siya. Or that's, that's what you call uh, braising. Okay, basta gumamit tayo ng method from the moist heat going to the dry heat, that's braising. Now, ko ha? Next. Ito ko, gaya nito. Diba? Uh, parang uh, potato potato casserole yung dating niya. Parang siyang uh, yeah, may big potatoes with yeah. tapos niluto nila yung isda. Siguro pinakulaw mo ng uh, pinakulaw mo na yung patatas sa kanila binake dito. And so baked cod filet Portuguese. So yun yung ate yung picture sa taas. So, yun yung mga iba't ibang mga sample. And that is standard. Ayan, sa so mga nakikita nyo mga recipe dito, standard yan. Plus, ha, you can use this as a reference if you want to do a, you know, a rasto. You can do it just to analyze, understand lang talaga yung mga different details natin in terms of recipe. Okay, so standard po yan, ha. Nagaling po yan sa ating mismong librong ginagamit natin. So, may reference naman tayo for that. And uh, that book is uh, international standard. Kaya wala kayong maano dito, maka-question dito sa pagdating sa recipe kung tama ba siya rin. Meron tayong source talaga for it. And so may mga example tayo dyan ng mga Facebook. Pwede nyo naman siyang basahin. Ayan, at pwede nyo siyang i-copy and i-save nyo sa file ninyo. Then if you have the time to try it to your home, then, for example, may gusto kong ligawan, may gusto kong uh, paghandaan ng masal kapotay, then you can use this recipe as your reference na para pagluto mo siya ng special dish mo. Pero sa bahay, parang mas maganda, itry-try mo muna sa bahay bago mo, ano, bago mo ibigay dun sa o ipaganda sa taong mahal. Sana all may taong mahal. Di ba? And fish and chips. Ito yung ano, ito yung topic na ano na gagawin ninyo. Ay, not topic. Ito yung actual na gagawin niyo, fish and chips. 
Actually, ano yun eh, parang tilapia filet at uh, yung pinagawa ko doon. Pero kung hindi ito talaga kaya na ng tilapia filet, pwede na kayo mag-fish and chips. You just simply uh, slice the the tilapia into, then sa kanya lang siya, ano, into strips, then coated nyo na siya. Okay, flour, salt, pepper, and ito maganda may beer siya. Beer butter ang tawag sa, ano niya, sa, sa, sa butter mixture niya kasi may beer. You can use this uh, recipe to do it. Eh, meron pa nga ditong calamari, yun yung iba. Sarap ng calamari. So, meron pa ang poached bullfish. Eh. Uy, parang nadoble yan. Anyway, so, yun yung ano, yun, yun yung ating our fish. Then, ang nakabukas sa ating activity ay, uy, lima. Self-check 11.1, self-check 11.2, self-check, ah, uh, task sheet. Ito yung tilapia filet. Ito yung task sheet na to, 11.3, tapos task sheet 11.4a, and task sheet self-check 11.5. So that will be your uh, topic natin sa ano. I mean, ito yung gagawin nyo dun sa fish. And the last one natin is about the dessert. So, dessert natin isa lang yung binuksan ko. Pero you need to open this, ha? Prepare desserts and sweet sauces. And so, usually ito magta-top to with your topic ng baking ninyo sa mga susunod na panahon. It will top. Dati kami, pag uh, nandun na kami sa dessert, nagbibake kami ng, ano, ng mga tinap. Okay, and then the final week natin is for the packaging. Isa lang din yung nakabukas dito. And so, packaging natin. Babagawa ko sana kayo ng charm ng packaging materials eh. Kaya lang, it's too expensive na kasi dalawa na yung task na naka-open sa inyo. And the deadline niya pa rin is to 25. So, hindi ko nagagawin to. And you know you know naman how to, to do the packaging. And it will be uh, fine. I mean, magagawa niya during your BUS. Kapag once nandun na kayo sa mga defense, yung mga gagawa kayo ng mga packaging materials ninyo. And uh, meron naman magagaling sa inyo pa paano gawin niyo. But you can use this as a reference how to do the packaging thing about sa mga binibenta ninyo sa market. Binibenta niyo sa market during your BUS na, na, na subject. Okay, so hanggang doon na lang yung ating uh, topic. So almost one hour na rin tayong nag-uusap. And uh, that will be our final lecture for this uh, SEM and... Uh, Sana at least kahit pa paano may tutunan kayo at meron kayong uh, nabulat din na lesson. Okay, so kung wala naman, recap na lang kayo, basa-basa din pag may time. And uh, in lang naman. And uh, if you have questions, you can drop your questions sa comment section then mag reply ako sa inyo. Okay, or if you want to have a question, you can PM me sa messenger. Okay, and uh, in lang naman. And of course, if you like this uh uh, topic natin, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Oh, diba? <laughs> don't subscribe. Anyway, so guys, always remember you are loved, accepted, and valid. And I am signing off.